Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. Did you know that you can use effects to get a better vocal sound in BandLab? In this video, we'll show you how to make your vocals sound louder, process backing elements to help your vocals stand out, and balance your mix for the best results. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. Let's begin by quickly making a small project to mix. First, I need a vocal. I open BandLab Sounds and enter vocal into the text search field. I open the Neo Soul Vocals Pack and drag Baby AdLibs Part 2 Dry 8 bars into the project. BandLab asks me if I want to change the project key to that of the sample, and I do, so I select Set. BandLab automatically sets the project BPM to that of the sample too. I turn down the track's level to minus 6 dB to make sure I've got headroom in the mix for other elements. Always hold your love so dear. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to drum pads, Prince Kit. I set this track to minus 6 dB. I compose a simple drum part with claps on the second and fourth beat of the bar kicks on the 1st and 4th 8th notes, and closed hats on quarter notes. Is here for you too. I duplicate this pattern out for the rest of the 4-bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I loop out the 4-bar clip to the same length as the 8-bar vocal by dragging the loop handle at the top right-hand corner of the clip. Next, I add a virtual instrument track and set this one to Keyboards, Roads. I set this track to minus 6 dB. I compose a chord progression that plays an E minor 7, followed by an E suspended 4th with an inverted 7th. I duplicate this out for the whole sequence, then loop it. The final element I'm going to add is a bass. I add a virtual instrument track and set it to electric basses, 62 P bass. I set this track to minus 6 dB. I compose a bass line that plays E, followed by D. I duplicate this and loop it.
Now we have a simple project we can easily make sound much better with some straightforward processing and balancing. We can see from the vocal's waveform that it's relatively quiet, and it's getting overwhelmed in the mix by the keys. Some parts of the vocal are quite a bit louder than others. We can make the vocal's volume level more consistent by using a compressor. In the effects panel, I add a Dynamics BL1176. This boosts the volume level of the vocal by a lot, and now both the keys and the vocal are much louder than the drums and bass. I set both the keys and the vocal's tracks to minus 12 dB to remedy this. The vocal is sounding more consistent volume level wise, but it's very dry. Let's add some reverb. In the effects panel, I add a reverb, studio reverb effect. I set the mix to 16% to give us just a touch of reverb on the vocal. This touch of reverb sets the vocal a little back from the listener, and now it sounds like the keys are too close to the listener relative to the vocal. In the effects panel, I open the effects preset menu and select the bright chorus preset. This effects chain helps our mix in a number of ways. Firstly, the chorus adds stereo width to the keys, giving the vocal more space in the center of the mix. Next, the reverb makes it sound slightly further away from the listener. Then there's some compression, which brings up the average volume level. The mix is sounding better already, but we can improve it further with some equalization effects. Equalizers allow us to cut or boost specific frequencies. I add a tone graphic equalizer effect to the keys track, with the intention of cutting the low and mid-range frequencies. Cutting the low frequencies will help the bass sit in the mix, and cutting the mid-range frequencies will help the vocal pop out in the mix and be more intelligible. I set the 200Hz band to minus 3.2dB and the 400 Hz band to minus 2 dB. The 800 Hz band to minus 4.3 dB, and the 1.6 kHz band to minus 3.3 dB. This helps the mix, but I feel the keys and the vocals could do with some further balancing. I set the keys track to minus 11 dB, and the vocal track to minus 12.5 dB. There's one final tweak I'd like to make, and that's to add a graphic EQ to the vocal track and cut the 800Hz band to minus 3.3 dB 
to cut out a little touch of harshness. Let's compare the mixed version of the track with a version with no processing or balancing. The mixed and balanced version is more pleasant to listen to, and the vocal is clearer and easier to make out. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!